Pisces, welcome to your Astro Flower Tarot reading going from the 13th to the 19th of February. Very close to your birthday. Things seems to be setting up. Have you seen the energy blueprint reading on your chakras and your auras? <gasps> my word. That was really beautiful, the downs from my side. Really, really beautiful. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Not only between the crown chakra, but between the heart. Go and have a look at it. And we've got to 1,000 subscribers, so we're going to be doing lives now. Just thought I'd tell you, thank you very much for your support. Absolutely brilliant. Um, and in that live, you can ask any question you like. We can be a question that we can do with the tarot, or we can be doing with by looking at your chakras or your aura. Um, and yeah, we're going to be sort of like answering your questions on direct. The thing we need now on this channel now, if you want to support us, is watching this video right through to the end. That would really support us. Okay, Pisces? I thank you very much in advance for your help uh, and your support of this channel. Absolutely lovely. Welcome to the Astro Flower family. Let's just see um, what's going on on your overall energies, yeah? Okay. It's almost unbelievable, which, because it's almost unbelievable, there's a certain degree of fear within that unknown um eight of um eight of uh wands messages coming in this ties in so well to your aura and your chakra reading it is messages and it's coming they're coming in thick and fast for you really heavy on all the fronts um and with that energy and with those messages coming in it's going to provide and provoke a lot for you. Let's have a look what's going on in your relationship front. Here's your karmic message, a bit of a leap of faith. I think that is because you're going to realize now that you have that crystal, that light uh, in your hand that you can follow. Uh, and I would trust you to follow your karmic path. This is all part of the new paradigm. In the relationship side, it's you, you're owning it. You've got this covered. You've got that with that. Queen of uh, Pentacles, you've got the universe that is really trying to sort of say, you know what you're doing, you're at the feet, you're at the foot of the tree of knowledge. You have all the understanding in your aura at the moment. It's absolutely blistering. Ace of Swords as well, that keeps coming up for everybody. So this is going to provoke ideas coming in through your, um, through your guides at the moment. And this is part of those messages that we see in the Eight of Cups. You guys here are actually, they're going to be providing situations that come out of the blue. So you might suddenly turn around and kind of go, do you know what? I'd like to uh, make my own uh, dress or pair of trousers or something like that. You know, sew my own pair of trousers. Just do it. Go ahead and do it. That's what you've got to be following it. Because that's what's going to open up the links to your relationships that are around you. I think it's more mental more than anything else, to be honest. So it's it's more sort of kind of going, I like to go to a certain place to experience a certain type of energy. And therefore, you can say that to the people around you. And when you do, all of a sudden, the people are kind of going, oh, yeah, I'll go with you. And then that sparks up that relationship as well. I don't think it's a case of love here, but I think it's a case of community that we're building into. Yeah, telecups. You have had a um, the last month before your birthday, last two months before your birthday, I think it's been a little bit tricky for you. And it is so good to see you coming through and coming past that difficulty onto happiness. This is the conversation you should be having inside you. You should be recognizing that you're heading to brighter, uh, you know, brighter lands. And as you do, you should be quelling that fear or that doubt within you and trusting those messages that are just flowing through you. I really want to see what's going on on Petal 10. Uh, at the end there. Let's just see what's going on in your financial side. So this is the workspace. This is all to do with your your job, your business, your projects, your things like that. Now, there is still a little bit of planning. We saw that in your, <coughs> excuse me, in your root chakra. Uh, we saw that in your root chakra as well, but it seems to be, I think it's a case of crossing T's and dotting I's. I think you're pretty much secure in, or you, you know what you want. It may involve a little bit of traveling as well. Um, this is what I was talking about on this side of going to visit places to feel the energy of a, of a place, you know. Um, and 
yeah, it's on your on your job side, it's maybe a case of you've decided that you want a different type of job next year, or you want to progress your business on it or your career path. Um, you got two twos, two of swords. The universe here is sort of saying, don't don't get tied into the traditional. This is what the universe is sort of saying to you. It's almost sort of saying, saying let let your let the messages be your guide. So it could pull you in a completely different direction. And with them being pulled in that completely different direction, it's because you've got to take that bandage off or that blindfold off and see everything clearly. Because you might you may plan loads, but at the end of the day, I'm you know, all best plans are fraught with dangers. I know that's not the phrase, but it's something like that. And with here, it's a case that you've got to, you've got to um, see your true path. And this is part of the realization this week for you. And we can see it in your in your chakras. And I'm not sure you shouldn't be you shouldn't be basing it upon the traditional career path, traditional job or stuff like that. Yeah, there's that seven of cups, the procrastination. There is this whole sort of looking at different areas within your life and realizing that some of them that may be in the traditional paths, some of them are just like kind of going, oh no, that's not me. So you might end up sort of kind of going, do you know what? I'm going to stop being a, a secretary and I'm going to be a yoga teacher. That's the sort of thing. It's following your evident path. That's what, the, that's, there's one cup giving you water here. Uh, giving you the emotions, giving you the satisfaction. And that is your evident path. And your guides are trying to put that in place to you at the moment. And you've just got to see what the universe is really trying to offer you through that energy that's flowing through you. We've got those two aces out. Everybody's been getting two aces. So you've got two aces and two twos. This is a real progressional sort of thing going on here. Um... So the conversation is within you, sort of kind of going, realizing what you love, um, implement it within your career path. This is the moment to do it. This is the moment to step into the new paradigm and walk it through <coughs> and actually start living it. Not just talking the talk, walking the walk. And let's just see what's going on on the, um, on the overall outcome. seems to be a lot of joy huge amounts of joy it's 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 like a joy that's got you over the brow of a hill and you're heading off into um uh your yeah you can see your path clearly and it's a it's a really refreshing path very spring like bah, everybody's been getting that in that same position the reason why i say this now Next to it, you've got the Ten of Cups. Because I need you really need to put this into perspective. I don't think it's worries. I think it's letting go of those worries. Because you've been through those difficult times. And I think this is what your guides are trying to sort of say to you. With the realisation and that messages that start coming into you, I think it's a time for you to, excuse me, let go of your worries. Let go of your worries and allow that, Ace of Cups to sort of open up that heart connection that you have with everything. We saw it in your energy and your chakra readings. It's backing it up there. It's time to stop worrying, Pisces, and time to start doing. And that comes out as well within that Ace of Swords. Yes, I know it's your birthday season coming up, and that transition is going to also create a little bit of um, kerfuffle in your life. But at the end of the day, I think you're heading to really beautiful place, really beautiful place. And it's now time to have that courage to let go of that internal worry about the future. Just know it, live your evident path. And there you go, Pisces. Thank you very much for being here right to the end of the, uh, the um, reading. Thank you very much for your support on this channel. Um, as I said, those lives will be coming out in the near future. Keep your eye on it. You're going to want to subscribe and click that bell. You're going to be able to ask questions. We're going to be able to answer them through the tarot, through your chakras, through intuition, everything. It's going to be a great time. Um, yeah, so 
in the meantime, Pisces, uh, you know, don't forget, <laughs> life should be fun, so please do enjoy.